For the first time in the history of the church, an entire family will be beatified. It's the Polish Ulma family, also known as the Samaritans of Markova. At dawn, towards 4 o'clock in the morning on March 24, 1944, here in Markova, at the Ulma family's home, of Josef and Victoria and their seven children, among whom one still in the mother's womb. German soldiers arrived with a very precise objective. They wanted to severely punish the entire Ulma family because according to the law of the German occupiers, they had broken the law according to which any help of the Jews was strictly prohibited. They earned this name as they were moved by the commandment to love and by the example of the Good Samaritan. They were murdered by the Nazi regime for giving refuge to eight Jews during the Second World War. In 1942, the Germans killed the majority of the Jewish inhabitants of Markova, a Polish city on the border of modern-day Ukraine. Many Polish families made the heroic decision to hide Jews in their homes. One of these was the Ulma family. The Ulma family in the second half of 1942 hid eight Jews persecuted by the German occupation for around a year and a half. They welcomed these Jews in the name of love, of neighbor, that which is required by the gospel. Especially in the Polish territory during the Second World War, a law was in vigor that in different ways punished any Pole's gesture of help towards the Jews. And this law became even stricter after the famous conference held in Berlin in January of 1942 when the authorities of the German regime met to define a so-called final solution to the Jewish question. All of it had a very precise objective, the need to eliminate all of the Jews present on the European continent. And according to this law of the German occupation here in Poland, any act of assistance, even if a Pole knew where a Jew was hidden and didn't inform the German occupiers. Anche lui poteva essere ucciso. It was probably a local policeman who informed the German forces that the Ulmas were hiding Jews. And on March the 24th, 1944, the Germans entered the Ulma farm. First, the eight Jews were shot. Then the couple, Joseph and Victoria, with their six children, in addition to the seventh who was in the mother's womb. The most original element of this beatification of the entire Ulma family consists of precisely the beatification of an unborn child, not only naturally, but also not spiritually born through baptism, the sacrament of baptism. The church, especially with this decision, vile occorre, shakes our consciences reminding us of the sacredness of every human life that begins at the moment of conception and up to natural death. So it's a great reconfirmation. It's a great hymn to the holiness and the dignity of every human life. In 1995, the Ulma family was added to the list of righteous among the nations at Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Memorial in Israel, together with 6,000 other Poles. With this concept of proclaiming the entire family blessed, the parents with seven children, among which also one in the maternal womb, the church wishes to most of all confirm. It wishes to emphasize the beauty and importance of matrimony and family life. 20 years after the beatification began, on September the 10th, 2023 at Markova, the beatification of the entire Uma family will take place.